We're back. This is Subaru WRX fan here. We're with the 17th S2000 review that we're doing. So guys, I'm in the S2000 and it's really just feels like a sports car in here. But if you didn't know, uh, I have 6 million subscribers now and I did I completed the frosted tip challenge. So what good is an S2000 without dropping the top, right? We're going to drop this top. One, two, three, it's fast. As you may or may not know, guys, this has a three-speed windshield wiper stock, and it goes from mist, off, intermittent, low, and high, and when you put it on high, it goes faster. So this is my 15th review of the S2000, and one of the things I really like about driving it is the top down blows my frosted tips really nice and um, I can feel each tip uh, methodically combing through the air. Let's try the hand fluke here. I'm gonna downshift in the third and we're gonna turn the wheel. Oh yeah, it's... <laughs> oh! I went around that turn going um, literally at the speed limit, 35 miles an hour, and it felt so planted. Now that I've hit 37 years old, I finally got to see the 1980s masterpiece Over the Top starring Sylvester Stallone where he's a world champion arm wrestler. So what he does in the movie, when he's getting serious, is he flips the switch. And I'm gonna do that into the turns. <laughs> oh my god, it hit me, Tech! <laughs> I remember 10 years ago when I started this channel and I love Subaru WRXs. Now I don't love them anymore because I got a Ford Mustang along, you know, I got that a Mini Cooper and a uh, Dodge Grand Caravan. Oh, we're gonna hit VTEC. Ah! Ah! Oh, not again. I got a bloody nose from it. Oh god, not again. Caroline? Yeah, it's Subaru WRX fan here. I hit VTEC again. Yeah. It hit it hit real hard this time. It is getting to be impossible to be somebody in the media that deals with vehicles. It's just not fair. I can't get it. I need more tablets. I need I need more displays. I need more tablets. I'm gonna get Barry Rogers on the phone. Hey Tim, is Barry around? No. But can you let him know right away that I need more tablets? I mean, I need more displays. I can't get the top ten worst cars ever made done. I can't get the list done without it. You just let him know. Okay. Thanks. This is the 2002 Toyota RAV4, a modern-day pussy magnet. With 54% female ownership, no wonder it smells like smelt. I'm driving my RAV4, knocking down your door. In 2002, the movie 8 Mile was released starring Marshall Mathers, a story about Jimmy B. Rabbit Smith Jr., who had to fight his way to the top in Detroit. Getting this 150 horsepower 2 liter to 60 miles an hour is like trying to get out of the ghetto by rapping. It takes a long time, but when you finally get there, it will have your girlfriend's sperm tunnel getting the meat sweats. The Toyota RAV4, the official vehicle of dog parks, new kids on the block, and rectum wrecking. I'm gonna finger bang your aunt's sister's cousin's Jasmine's vagina, you pig. 
To quote William Faulkner, get it down, take chances, it may be bad, but it's the only way you can do anything real good. The transmission ECU on the car fails on most of them over 100,000 miles and it causes the gearbox to just destroy itself. But hey, after 100,000 miles, it's time to upgrade to something you can actually tow your sleds with, bro. Make sure you draw some dicks on there or something. Let's draw like a huge dick. Not again. My ex-wife. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Oh, I gotta tweet some tips to Autoblog. I gotta check the tip line. There might be some hot tips in here that I can post up on the auto blog. Um, GM big announcement, Chevy updates. Chevy Spark gets more reflective headlamps and piano black door handles. Uh, that's gonna make a lot of hits. A lot of comments. Barry, um, I just want to run past the hot tip I got. I'm not sure if I can post it. It's about a GM press release. So I should post up every press release then. Will do. Don't need spell check either. <laughs> hey Lee? You'll never guess. Um, Barry just let me post up a GM press release. I think I got it before Jalopnik. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's a big tip this time. Great. On this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we're gonna put, we're gonna do a custom vinyl on a Honda Honda S two thousand. Uh, we picked out a real nice color palette. Marty uh, got us this, and you're a professional vinyl wrapper, but this looks like wrapping paper. We just got a box of parts in from Melbourne, and uh, Marty looks like he already tore into the box. So in, you know what's in here, don't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna open it up, show you the goods inside. It's gonna be mad. Go ahead, Marty. Open up the box. What kind of tape is this? Uh, we got, what do we got here from our performance? Uh, what is this, white line performance? Who, I don't know, Aussie Moist. So Marty, how much did you have to beg, borrow, and steal to get this uh, performance parts? 100 US dollars. <laughs> so we're gonna show you DIY uh, on how to polish, micro polish the, all the skid marks out of your paint finish on your car. Uh, we're going to try it on a Honda, but we, uh, what do you think of Hondas? So welcome back. Here's our DIY section on the, we're going to take care of the deer today. We're going to use the Aussie polish on the John Deere. Now this is imported from the States. And what do you think, mate? This is going to clean this paint up real nice, right? Yeah, it'll look carbon fiber when we're done. Yeah, okay. So uh, Marty's going to get the pump out. He's <laughs> Marty's gonna get the pump, and he's gonna pump it all over a rag, and then we're gonna pump it all over the finish. Oh, this is gonna be mad, Marty, Ma mad. All right, Marty, pu stop pumping. Don't be shy about that. This finish is gonna look fantastic afterwards. <laughs> Marty, I think that's too much. You wanna start with a liberal amount. This, that's probably the perfect amount there, Marty. So step two is apply the polish to the finish that you're trying to polish up. Now use the Aussie on here, Marty. We're gonna, how much? <laughs> I think we got a lot here. <laughs> Just use a little bit now. We don't want to use too much. <laughs> Just rub it, in, rub it in with your bare hands, Marty. Now, once the finish is all glossy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off in stages. So the next DIY step, we're gonna take this off in 60 stages. When you're dealing with tri-coat paint, mates, you're gonna use about 60 layers of Aussie here. So Marty, how does it feel? 
super smooth. As you can see, this is the before shot right here. Uh, this is very, very damaged surface. So we're gonna show the after shot right now. All right, this is the after shot, mates. Um, this is just a mad finish. We've gotten rid of all the scratches here, as you can see. Uh, you can do this for under $6,000 here at your own garage. Um, so Marty, on a scale of one to 10, how difficult would this be for our mates? Nine. That's, that's gonna- that's, that's how your bonnet's gonna look. It's gonna look really good on the Honda. We got the S2K in the garage ready, prepped. Uh, we did all the prep work for the vinyl wrap here. So we're gonna do that in our next episode. And then we won't be able to give the fucking thing away, I tell you that, mate. <laughs>